Hey guys, I have the police blotter on the paper and then some scanners from Green Bay. First one, December 28th. The caller reports a driver is making rude gestures as he drives by in Minong. Officer spoke to the person who said he will avoid contact with the caller. That's weird. Was he like flipping him off or what other kind of rude gestures was he doing? Um, caller reports a female was yelling at the laundry room in Shell Lake. Well, she's probably drunk. I hate fucking laundromats. Um, December 29th. Welfare check on a man who was parked in his vehicle, stripped naked, and began walking down the road in Minong. Vehicle is still running. Vehicle's been turned off and keys have removed. Dude, that's crazy. It December 29th, it was cold as shit up here, so whatever he was on, he must have been pissed to strip naked and start walking. December 30th, people are running through yards and yelling in Spooner. Well, probably some asshole kids. Caller believes someone went into his house and took his dog, Spooner. Holy shit, that's crazy. Male wearing a backpack and is hitchhiking on the highway in Trigo. So now it's illegal to wear a fucking backpack and walk down the road. January 1st, a person is acting suspiciously at the laundromat in Minong. Officer reports the person was not familiar with using that laundromat. <laughs> it's so stupid. How are you not familiar with using a laundromat? You put coins in, put in your fucking soap, put in your clothes, turn the fucker on. Easy peasy. January 5th. Reports of someone talking about spiritual and demonic visions and doing an exorcism. Holy shit. What were they doing that they thought they should do an exorcism? That's fucking awesome. January 9th, ice fishing items stolen from truck. Caller believes they were stolen while he was visiting a bar. <laughs> Lock your fucking truck if you're getting drunk at the bar. Aren't you drunk enough while you're ice fishing? Holy shit. All right, here's the scanners. <clears throat> one January 10th not really sure what to make of this one sounds like a male female disturbance weapons call possibly involving a gun bricks bat a dog smash windows and a naked male <laughs> sounds like a party to me you don't need to call 911 for that holy shit 110 fire alarms going off in the whole building and the hallway smells like marijuana dude Probably taking such big bong rips and setting the smoke alarm off. Holy shit. I know a guy like that. McDonald's. Intoxicated male in the lobby. Blue hat, long hair, blue jacket, holding a bottle of vodka. <laughs> I'd love that people get trashed and bring their own vodka to McDonald's. I mean, can't you go to like Denny's or somewhere better than McDonald's? This one's from Spooner. Um... Cops being dispatched to Econo Mart in the city of Spooner for a theft complaint. Caller stating a male subject's wearing car hearts and a black beanie and a sweatshirt lift left with two 175 bottles of vodka out the back door and is currently walking north on the snowmobile trail. That's so fucking greedy. Like, do you really need two handles of vodka to walk on the snowmobile trail? Jesus Christ. They're always on sale. You don't need to shoplift. You can get them for a really good deal. I follow the vodka deals at a kind of mart. Um, Lambeau Field. There's a male there vomiting all over everyone. Now there's reports that he may have passed out. He's wearing a Vikings jersey number 69. <laughs> That's so gross, dude. That's why I don't want to go to a football game. I don't want to get barfed on. Welfare check. Male at complainant's house has been drinking and unable to get off the couch. They do not want rescues, but they want officers to respond anyway. You gotta call 911 because some fucking asshole so drunk he can't get off the couch. Dude, like, if I called 911 every time my husband couldn't get off the couch because he was drunk, I would probably go to jail for wasting the police time. That's fucking crazy. Just fucking put a blanket on him and walk away. What the fuck? 
Dan's Avenue report of a cow's head in traffic in Green Bay. Well, the first time you actually should call 911 for a cow being in the road. Holy shit. Walnut Street, male causing a disturbance. He has a broom wearing a Packers jersey. <laughs> oh my God, he must be drunk as fuck. Um, Next one. Walgreens, disturbance. Disturbance, male being verbal, wearing a Packers hat, red and black jacket. He's got an open bottle of liquor that he's been drinking at the pharmacy. <laughs> Now he's urinating outside all over the building. Well, I mean, if you've got a bottle of liquor and you're at the pharmacy, of course, the next step is to start fucking pissing all over. That's so nasty, dude, ish. So then, because there was the Packers versus Vikings game, I have the whole police report from all the fucked up shit that went down inside um, Lambeau Field. 7.46 p.m., intoxicated females refusing to leave, sitting in the aisle, and was trying to return to her ticketed seat. 747, out of the concourse, a female fell into the stands. Jesus. 802, confirmed ejection of one of the previous callers. Cannot confirm to the officer, but he needs to be ejected. Report of a male in the woman's bathroom. Ugh. Um... <laughs> <laughs> check on vikings fans who are refusing to sit down and are causing issues <laughs> fucking asshole vikings fans that's all i have for this week if you have any police blotters from your town that you want me to read please dm me see ya